The only the only strange thing I I think, and it's nothing to do with Hillsborough. It's to do with Heisel, and um, Heisel's never ever mentioned. Very, very, very rarely is Heisel ever mentioned. For for whatever reason, it's almost like it's kind of been glossed over a little bit, which of course it, it should never, ever, ever be. But it, it doesn't get a mention. And you know, as 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 ex players, and I mean, there's an awful lot of us live very, very close to together in uh, in in Southport and everything. And when we see each other and we go and have a beer and stuff, we don't talk about it. No, nobody talks about Heisel. Absolutely nobody. And it's just one of those. I, I find it really, really strange. I really do. Is it just a sense of shame? Yeah, I think there's a bit of that. Um, I think there is definitely a bit of that. But there is, there, you know, and I, I can't exonerate the, the, the football club completely, but. That that day, well, before before that day, UEFA decided to obviously make it two third that end two thirds Liverpool, one third whoever. But basically, you know, um, in fairness to the Juventus supporters, they, they paid to go in there, and I, and I think I'm pretty sure uh, Peter Robinson, who was like the chief exec um, general manager of the football club at the time, comp complained to UEFA about that. Why why would you possibly do that? Um, and I think I think there is I think there is some paperwork somewhere you know kept a copy of what he said to UEFA, um, but then so you, you can't you can't exonerate what happened. Um, I think there were different factions involved, and eventually over the course of time you get um, the, the real story. But yeah, it just it, it's just very very strange. I mean, as people know, I kind of I spent the night in the hospital um, with some of the dead and the dying because. I dislocated my shoulder within about 30 seconds of the flipping game starting and I was obviously had to go to the hospital in an ambulance and all that kind of stuff but it, it's it's just really really odd that it, it never ever there's never been that you know discussion about high school and it is a little bit like and it feel as though it's a bit like a dirty secret in many ways I didn't know that you'd spent the evening in the hospital with the dead. oh yeah right. listen well I, I mean so I was struggling to play, then they arranged the game for me three weeks before or two weeks before and um so to see if I was fit enough. So and I, I think we, me and Craig Johnson he had an income uh, an ankle injury and we both played against Chester or something and we were we were fine. So um but I went I fell down tackling Platini within about I think it was I think it was a minute and ten seconds or something. I knew straight away my shoulder dislocated again, I think, you know, S H I T. Um went off and uh the doctor i mean the doc god love him we had two doctors brothers two irish guys and he was trying to put my arm my my arm back in and apparently what they say is if you can if within within a couple of minutes sometimes the arm will click back in the, the shoulder will click back in but it but it didn't and then he had me swing in this milk cart and honestly i mean you know when, when my book comes out you can read it but so the next thing was, I went in a in an ambulance. The game's going on. I'm I'm going to the hospital, and it wasn't like a normal ambulance that you would see now. It's like a, a kind of extended vehicle ambulance, low and everything like that. And I got in via the via the boot, and they kind of they, they kind of put me in backwards. It sounds stupid, and I was lying on a stretcher, but it was attached to this kind of metal, big metal piece of metal thing, which. Obviously, that extended to the boot. So when I got to the hospital, they reversed in, and it was a bit like you know if you go on the motorway and you see these loading bays for Tesco's <laughs> and Walmart and all those kind of things. Honestly, it was just like this. These, these shutters came up, right, and um, something came out of the building, and it connected to what I was lying on. And basically, and they just said, "Don't move. You don't. You haven't got to get up. Just, just stay there. Don't move anything." And basically, I was on like a mini conveyor belt, and it was straight into the operating theatre. Um, they had my records and all that kind of stuff, and the guy was all gowned up, and and he said, "Right, okay, dislocated shoulder." He said, uh, "We'll have to knock you out, um, obviously, and you know, put it back in, and, and and you'll be fine." I'm in my kit, I've got my boots on, the whole shebang, and I'm with the doc. 
and I woke up, and this is the frightening thing for me, I woke up, and I was never great when I had an operation with, with um, uh, the stuff they knock you out with, and they put you on. I'm always like, oh, I felt rough. Anyway, I woke up, and I said, still all my kit on, obviously my boots off, and I looked around, and I was in a ward, there was 24 beds, and I was the only person in there, and there was a, there was a guy from the army with this biggest machine gun you've ever seen in your life sat at the, sat at the bottom of my bed. And I looked at him, and obviously I'm looking like SH1T, as I said, and I look at him, and he just, all he did, he didn't speak any English, he just went, I, as in, just stay there, and he, he went and got the nurse and stuff like that. Oh, it was like, unbelievable, yeah, what, what so, we went through. Did, did you have any idea of the disaster that had unfolded before you got to the hospital? N well, no, we, 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 we knew, we got, what happened was, we... We got to, uh, when we got to the game, we always got there unbelievably early. Listen, when, when on the way to the game, uh, Juventus fans and Liverpool fans were playing on this piece of grass, like a little mini park thing, playing against each other at football. And you're thinking, it was a lovely warm night, you're thinking, this is all good. I mean, you had no idea what, what, what hell was about to, 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 to happen and stuff. So, and before the game, we went out and then all of a sudden we heard this commotion and our dressing room was very, very close to, to, to where the, that end and where the wall collapsed. And then obviously the people realised that there was, there was a major, major problem and they, they stopped us going out. And of course, they're now saying, you know, that the game's being delayed, um, the wall's collapsed and all that. And of course, it, it's like Chinese whispers. And then you're hearing people going, Oh, there's like you know, there's five dead, there's ten dead, and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going crikey! And then the uh, chief of police for Brussels came into the dressing room, and he said, uh, "He said this this game goes ahead." And we went. There's a bunch of players. We went. No, we don't. We don't want to play. He said, "No, no." He said, "It's a, it's a safety issue." He said because he said, and I've spoken to Juventus, and he said it's a safety issue because. You know, if all of a sudden I let everybody go with what's happened, he said, I cannot be responsible for what happened. He said, so we're playing, um, which was just weird. Um, and I remember, I remember, uh, I remember coming out to obviously and and to, to line up and everything, and just thinking, it's absolutely ridiculous in many many ways. And if you look, I've never, I've never ever seen a second of that game ever i didn't even have a look at the pen which the boys said it wasn't a pen and um, from the goal but um, i've never ever looked at a second of it because you just think how, how ridiculous w was that um and i remember my my mum would my mum would never go to big games ever because she just like she'd be there with her with her with her hands in front of her eyes and stuff like that um and my step my stepfather went with a with a friend of his and when I spoke to him later on that night, he said, he said, because they had VIP tickets, obviously, because of, you know, from the players, et cetera, that um, he said, we walked past, um, he said it was like a little avenue thing. And he said, it was just black body bags. And of course, you know, they were thinking because of the time, it was like, it was the IRA, it was this, it was whatever. It was just completely crazy. In the hospital, when you woke up, did, did, mm. they, did they bring the, the people from the stadium into the same room as you did like was, was no that... no i'll tell you what happened um they the, the nurse came in spoke fab english and stuff and you know she said how how you feel and i'm all strapped up and everything like that and i, I said yeah fine fine because obviously you know the the um the effects were was, was still with me and i, I think she said uh, she, I think, i'm pretty sure she made me a cup of tea and a piece of toast <laughs> which you do um but in the morning in the morning, uh, the the surgeon who sorted my shoulder out came in. He actually said to me, he said to me, he said, I can operate on this. And I said, well, I said, it was already decided at Liverpool that when I got back to England, I was going to have an operation. And it's, it's called putty plaque where you oversew one of the muscles and stuff because it kept coming out. He said, I can do it for you. I can do it here. And I said, no, I said, I'm sorry, but, you know, I'll have, I'll have, I'll have to go home and stuff. And... Uh, and he said, oh, there's what, one or two of the press want to speak to you. And I, probably a wrong decision. I said, yeah, OK, well, the next thing is the world and his wife were in there. And, of course, there was loads of Italians. And, like, they were all, you know, very, very challenging. And I, I was like, well, I'm like this, lying in the bed. 
half kind of half kind of uh, of awake and half not asking me all these questions and I, and I couldn't really answer them because they're just saying about you know stuff like did you know people had died and that well we were told people had, had died but it wasn't you know Liverpool officials haven't come in and told us but we were told it would died and all those kind of things and I mean and in the end um the guy the, the surgeon sort of said look he said we need to get you out of here and I said well yeah great go back to the hotel and then we were flying home but I just I had my kit I had no I had no civvies no civilian clothes so they said all right okay we'll we'll, we'll, we'll get in touch with the with the club anyway Roy Evans turned up with my uh my, my my missus at the time, Vanessa, then they, they turned up and he brought me a track to, he brought me a Liverpool track to, and I looked at him, you can imagine what I said, can't you? And he, was, he was a friend of mine as well as being one of the coaches ever, just a great lad. And and, uh, and I said, why didn't you just bring me me effing clothes? And he went, well, we just like wanted to come and get you out as soon as possible. And I, I said, anyway, he says, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll reverse the track suit, we'll turn it inside out. So anyway, they, they sneaked me out of one of the lifts, uh, one of the service lifts, and obviously got back to uh, to the hotel, and then we just went to the airport. But at the airport, we were spat on, and everything. Um, it just it just wasn't nice. The, the only thing was that they, they got us out of there in terms of the flight ASAP. But they were spitting on us, and that and they wrote on you know all the skips that have all your kit, your dirty kit, your boots, and all that kind of stuff, and they wrote all kinds of stuff on them, obviously about being killers and, and and one thing and another so but that story's never ever really as i said it's never ever really come out at all which which i find really strange yeah well i guess it's it's always every civilization finds it difficult to address their own yeah mistakes and and yeah and, and misdemeanors yeah but definitely it's 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 worth having these conversations and and excavating these memories and and making sure that they are recorded. And look, thanks very much for being so honest with it, because obviously, you know, I presume it's difficult enough for you to revisit that as well. No, it's not. It's not. It's it, it's obviously time. Time kind of doesn't heal completely. I mean, I don't get upset about it at all. It's just I just really do think it's very, very strange that, you know, and absolutely quite rightly, 100 percent. We, we, we always we always talk about Hillsborough and, and, and long may we may we do and and everything. But we just do not ever talk about Heisel. Ever, ever, ever. It's, I just, I just find that really, really strange. Especially now, you know, the world that we live in. Um, you'd think, you'd think we talk about it more. I do, I do. I think someone's trying to make a documentary. In fact, I know they're trying to make a documentary because I got an email from the club the other week. If I ever wanted um, to, to speak to someone, and to be honest with you, I'm, I've never replied, and, and I don't know why I've not replied. I'm just one of them, probably because I'm just lazy and sat on my ass and thinking, nah, I can't be bothered. I think you should. I mean, I, I know. For, oh, yeah, I do. I know, probably will. So, yeah. Um, especially that story is amazing, and I'm, I'm sure there's loads of footage of, of all of that stuff too that would. Oh, you know, there's some. Uh, you know, there's there's, there's, so, there's some un unbelievably stories that I mean, I could tell you a story. Not 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 now as a probable time, but about um, a, a Juventus family. I think it was granddad, dad, uncle, and stuff, and and uh, they lost one of theirs, and it's just it's just like wow, it's just frightening. Mark, it's always great talking to you. Thanks a million for making the time for us this morning. Pleasure.